The best way to get better at programming is to practice. And in this example, we're going to apply this interface to a class. As always, these files are available for download using a link provided below in the description. You can then follow along or attempt on your own and then simply check your answer when you're done. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to come over here to fish. Notice that fish extends animal. And what I want to do is I want to implement my interface. So I'm going to come over here and say implements. And then I'm going to specify my interface, in this case, swims. Now, as soon as I did that, you'll notice that fish, my class definition name, got a red underline. Why? Well, there's now an abstract method. Our class is not abstract, but we have an abstract method in swims that we need to override. So I'm going to come over here and say public void swims. And now I have created that method. Now this method doesn't do anything, so it's not real useful just yet. We're going to fix that in just a second but we have the ability for it to work. So I'm going to come over here and now say system.out print line. I can't reference this dot name because as a private property. So I'm going to say this dot get name. Use my concatenation operator plus is swimming. Okay. So it's, a very simple method that I can use. So if I have an application, I create a fish instance, that object to say object name dot swims, it's going to print out whatever the name of the fish is, is swimming. Now, the nice thing is I can take this and come over right to mammal and do the exact same thing. Implements swims. Once again, mammal now has an issue. So I'm going to come over here and say public void swims get name. That's going to give me a string plus is swimming. And you can see something like that. Okay. So there is an example of how we can use a very simple interface apply it to multiple classes, we get that method. Now our outputs have to be the same, but they don't have to be. We can do something entirely different depending upon what our class is. Hopefully you found this example helpful. If so, please give the video a like and consider subscribing so you can see more videos on how to get better at programming.